Right then, let's have a look at adding a new camera to our scene. So the way that you do that, let's just go back over here, is we are going to go to create and then from that menu we're going to choose cameras and there is a camera. So we'll click on that and you won't see anything because it's created at the origin and we already have stuff in the way. Don't worry, if you just hit the W key to turn your move tool on and then move it up, that will move the camera out and you'll be able to see what we're dealing with. So that is what a camera looks like in Maya. Not very useful to us yet because we can't see what it sees. And obviously that's one of the most important parts of working with a camera. So let's set that up um, so that we can see through it. So if you tap your space bar like I just did there, um, that will bring up your four view. And these are your orthographic views. What we're going to do is sacrifice one of these so that we can animate with it. I think the one that I want to sacrifice, I want to keep my top one because it's quite good for positioning the camera. Um, I think I'm going to sacrifice this front one here. So in order to change this view to what this camera can see, you click on panels, perspective, because it's a perspective camera, and then you choose the camera that you want to see through. And there it is. Now, what that's done is made me realize that I haven't renamed this camera. So I'll do that now while I've got it selected. There's camera one. So if I click on that, I'm just going to call it shot cam, like so. And there you can see that's reflected down here um, in the shot cam view. What I'm also going to do is just press uh, six so that I can see the textures. And now when I move that camera around, what it sees will be reflected in the view in the bottom left, which is very, very useful. So what we'll do now is start to animate this camera. So the first thing we'll do is set the start position of the camera. So again, all movement is made of two or more keyframes. So we need to get the start position, which will be keyframe one. So let's make sure that your playhead is at frame one. And then we're going to move the camera. So in my case, I actually want it to start in this back corner here and then move along the back wall so that it's looking out of the window and able to see what's in the room. So I'm just going to use my top view for this. And that appears to be the back corner. And then I'm just going to rotate this around so that it's looking out the front window. Kind of like that there. So that's, for me, quite a nice starting position. What I'll do then is set a key on that. Now this time, because I think I'm going to rotate the camera as well, I'm going to press S to set the keys. So I'll press S, making sure I'm on frame one, and that's position one set. What I'm then going to do is move to frame 200, because I think 200 frames is a nice length of time for this movement to take place. And then I'm going to move the camera over to the other corner and rotate it around slightly, just so that it can see out the window still. So it'll almost keep this projector in view for more of the shot. And when I'm happy with the position, I'll press S again. And that's it. That's all there is to it. You've created your first camera movement in Maya. All that's left to do is to preview that. So I'm going to show you it not working first so that you'll know what to do if it happens to you. So if you've been working in this view or the top view, so I'll do this view for instance, and I play this camera movement, you'll see here the camera's moving, but nothing is happening here. So that might fool you into thinking that you've not animated something properly. But that's not the case. The reason is that you should be able to see a light grey square around this view. And that's telling you that that's the active view. So what you need to do is just make this view active. So I'm going to do that by middle mouse clicking in there. You see the little grey box goes around it. And now my camera shot is reflected. It looks beautiful. So let's just do that one more time. Oh. It's so cinematic. You could, of course, make it full screen by tapping spacebar with your mouse in there. Oh, that is like cinematic genius. Okay, so that's that step done. We've created a very simple camera movement. What we'll do in the next step is create a play blast to preview that in a, a video format.